exclusive special on this morning. Come on and testify. You. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord again. Giving honor to Christ, who's the head of my life, and to the honorees, Bishop Ellis in his absence, and to Pastor Chucky Ellis. My name is Brother Andre Reynolds. I am a member of Pastor George E. Crook's Church, Greater Northside Apostolic, because my father was elected assistant, promoted to assistant pastor there. And uh, that's, that's my home church now. And um, I'm going to let my brother introduce himself. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Truly, we give honor to Jesus Christ as the head of our life, to your fine pastor here in his absence, Bishop Ellis. Assistant Pastor Elder Charles, to my own very fine pastor, District Elder George Price, I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. Truly today, you know, I can say that I'm blessed today. You know, I thank the Lord because on Monday night, me, my brother, and sister who's not here, we came face to face with death. Hallelujah. You know, we, we were at the store, and we coming out of the store, and I got in my car, waiting for my brother to come in the car, and a young man started walking towards the car from around the 7-Eleven, and he just, you know, looked kind of strange, so I looked up at him, and he noticed me, and he proceeded like he was going to go into the store, but, you know, he stopped in front of my car, and he started swearing at me, and asking me, what was I looking at, you know? My brother was getting in the car at the time, and we just said, come on, let's just go ahead and lead us along, we get out of here. But you know that young man hurried back to the car. He ran back to the car real fast and we pulled out onto the main road, Southfield Road. And as we looked in the rearview mirror, we noticed this car coming out, had no lights on, and uh, just started following us. And you know, we didn't think it was going to turn out the way it did, but you know, they followed us and they stayed kind of far back. You know, they didn't real, really make it obvious, but we kept going down further and they kept getting further and further away, so I didn't really make too much out of the situation. But we had to come to a light and they came up and they pulled right next to us but thank God there were some other cars around at that time they didn't do anything so they let us pull off again and you know we proceeded further and further down the road and we kept picking up speed we started up about 45 and they kept getting further back and you know I didn't really think they were going to keep on following us until they acted like they were going to get on the freeway and they cut their lights off and turned and the next thing I know I saw this car pull back out in the rear view mirror turn the lights back on we still kept getting further and further away but you know it got out a little a little bit out of my sight and I had to go into underpass and when I came up they couldn't see me so I just stepped on the gas as hard as I could and we ended up on the Southfield freeway it turned from a road into a freeway and you know I picked up to about 85 90 miles an hour to going down the Southfield freeway and I looked in the rearview mirror hallelujah and this car came flying out of nowhere you know it had to be doing at least a hundred miles an hour came by and it was picking up speed quickly and my sister and my brother we were back there and we was just thinking of calling on Jesus you know we didn't know what was about to happen hallelujah but I kept going and I kept going and it kept getting further and further closer and closer to me excuse me and you know as they come come up right behind the car I saw them in the rearview mirror Lord allowed me to think to slam on the brakes as soon as they get next to me and you know they were coming so fast I really didn't have too much time to think and they pulled right up next to me I slammed on the brakes hallelujah when I slammed on the brakes a bullet came flying through my window hallelujah shattered the glass hallelujah hallelujah they kept going up further and I had to put it in reverse and we started praising and thanking the Lord hallelujah we I didn't know if anybody had been hit yet but the young man went so far as he when he stopped ahead he stuck his body out the car and he pointed back to keep shooting never seen him before in my life only saw him for about three seconds but you know I'm standing here today hallelujah a living witness hallelujah just like Shadrach Meshach and Abednego they devil tried to kill him hallelujah but God was right there in the car hallelujah he was right there with us hallelujah here's my brother hallelujah hallelujah thank you I just thank God right now for sparing my life I looked at my brother's head when the bullet crashed through the window and I started I said Jesus and I start speaking in tongues and the bullet hit me in the chest and I didn't I froze up like this and I still was praising God and then I said Danny I'm hit but I don't know if the bullet sunk in and then I unfolded the bullet
said the Lord saved all of us. I rebuked Satan in the name of Jesus. And my father had preached that past Sunday. And he said the trouble was coming in 95. The devil was going to be on a rampage. He said you got to be prayed up and have faith in God and stand up on God's word. And I just want to encourage the young people to out of your parents and all your ways that your days be longer on this earth. Somebody said he 